Hi all, welcome back. So this is the second part and in this part I'm going to show you how to build these charts or this particular output. So let's quickly jump into new sheet. So I'll try to replicate what I have done here so you can follow me and uh, you can look at some of the property settings which I've used. So I'll quickly create a chart, click on chart, then click on next, then I'm going to select player as my dimension, click on finish. Oops, we'll go back and then let's select my expression, click on add expression. That's, I'm going to create the blue chart which is runs, so sum of runs and then click on OK. And I'm going to enable the values on data points, click on OK and also select the average trend lines. That's pretty much uh, from this tab. And also, I don't want my label to appear, so I'll just use a blank space. And under sorting, I'm going to use it. I'll leave it for now. And I'm going to use the style, change the style here, and also change the look. And under presentations, uh, this is the most important setting. I'm going to use max visible number, and then I'm going to check this. I'm going to use a variable, so I'm going to use a variable here and I'm going to use top selection. So I'm using dollar sign expansion here and this is the actual expression within the variable. Okay, and then let's look at the access tab and I don't want to see my access so I'll hide it. And I'll change the font and to keep things simple. I'll use this font. Also change it for this just in case. And let's change the color. Please get the color. So I'll use dark color. Use this color. Yeah, that's pretty close to what we are looking at. And I'll change the transparency to 100%. Okay, so it's all transparent. And let's look at font is fine. And we don't want borders, remove the borders. And we don't want the caption as well, but I'll not remove the caption now so that we can use the uh, the header to move the object and let's go back to dimensions tab and let's remove the show legend okay then click on okay okay i'll just go ahead and enable the border just so that i see the chart size now i drag the chart okay to the chart now I'll copy this chart and paste it. So I'm moving this chart. So I'm creating another instance of the same chart. And now, so if you see, this is my runs code and we, we need to now calculate the strike rate. So let's get started with that. So my dimensions remains the same, my expression. I'm gonna change the expression. So I'm going to use uh, SR. So again, let's use average of SR times minus one. Okay, so we're using minus one so that the chart needs to be on the other side. I mean, we need to see it as it as if it was flipped. So I'll use this. Yeah. So this is what we wanted to see. However, the numbers are still showing in negative values, so we need to change that. To change the numbers from negative to positive numbers, you need to go to the number tab. Click here. This shows blank because we have used the blank space here on the label. So don't get confused with that. So let's click on expressions and uh, let's select fixed and let's select one decimal place. Oops, sorry, one decimal place. And here I'm going to use this and use a semicolon and then say this so if you use this particular format you will change the negative numbers 
as positive numbers. So they are actually negative numbers, but we are just changing the format. So we are just changing how we are looking at it. And then let's look at other properties. So let's change the color. In our case, we wanted green shades. So I'll use this. Look at my thing. So we have got that green shade. Okay. And that's pretty much about this one. Okay. Like I said, it's simple. And now uh, let's copy another instance and paste it. And I'll move this here. And now we need to get the actual gray bars. So I'm, ju I'm just going to use one to keep simple. So all the values within the bars will, will be just one. I don't want values on data points for this. And I don't want an average line for this. So let's look at how this looks and let's change the color. And I'll keep this a gray, grayish color. That's cool. Okay. And let's reduce the size. So we're getting what we wanted. So now I'll move all these charts. And I want to reduce the size. So I'll reduce the size approximately. You can still use properties to reduce the size, but just for demonstration, I want to do something quick and easy. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you, you might see that uh, these two bars are not aligned, and I'm not really sure if these looks seems to be aligned. So if you want to align all of them, just select everything and then click on top align. So you see all of them align now. Okay. Now I'll move this particular chart. So if you wanted to move or if you want to nudge the object, you can hold the control key and use the arrow keys. So it will move very, very slowly. Yeah. You can adjust it so it fits. Same is the case with this. Okay, so now we have this information. Now we need to get the actual label. So I'll take a copy of this gray one and paste it on top of it. And let's go back and let's select show my legend and I don't want my label. So this shows that information you are looking at right now. And here, important technique is I'm going to hide the expression. I'll make it invisible. Okay. And I'm going to make the font bold so that it's readable and adjust it finally. So there we go. Excellent. So if you hold control shift, you can see the red rectangles and you can adjust them by dragging them. So that's, we are almost there. So if you're now looking at it, there, these are like four charts and we just need a little more formatting. So I'll go ahead and select everything and then remove the captions for everything. And we don't want the borders as well. So remove the borders. 